running a pound here. Week one game of 2022 season. Went to the big house in Michigan and uh, barely came away with a victory against a team that that played with pure heart. And uh, you know we again we were lucky to come away with this one uh, with a victory. Um, <clears throat> game started off pretty rough for us. Micah Jordan took the ball out of the end zone and was hit and fumbled the ball and next play Michigan scores and goes up 7-0 <clears throat> before we know it on the next drive uh, Matthew Pruitt throws an interception and uh, we find ourselves having to play some serious defense before we get down by two touchdowns or two scores and uh, luckily we were able to <clears throat> force a turnover and uh, go down and score right off I think about 14, 14 points or so um, t to get up and have a good lead uh, going into the half. Came out in the in third quarter, uh, scored a touchdown on our first drive, opened the game up a little bit, <clears throat> only to watch Michigan go down and kick a field goal. And, uh, man, that was a tough one. But, uh, Anyways, Michigan was able to tie the game up at 24 with, them, with one minute left in the game. Georgia gets sacked on the first play. Uh, the next play is a touchdown pass to, uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I believe the guy's name is Jamie Patterson. He's our, uh, got his first start. Um, he's a GCO player that uh, redshirted last year. Um... Yeah, 79-yard pass from Matthew Pruitt. Uh, then we had to play defense again, man, with 20 seconds left. Uh, left a little bit of time on the clock, and Michigan was able to throw a Hail Mary that we intercepted in the end zone right there at the very end. Um, you know, just a, just a game where I, I guess we came in here uh, not prepared. Um, had a couple turnovers. We lost, lost the fumble on the opening kickoff, and then also threw that interception in the first quarter, but buckled down and played uh, smart football after that. We were able to force four interceptions on Michigan, and that was really probably the key to us winning the game was, was the turnovers that we forced. Um, Michigan played a tight ball game. Uh, you know, it was uh, just one of those where, you know, they pinned the ears back and came after us and, and was really able to to play tight coverage as well, and there just wasn't a whole lot of uh, room to work with when we were on offense. Defensively, they were hitting all the holes they needed to for the most part, um, minus those interceptions. If it hadn't been for those, like I said, uh, this one here would have gone the other way. Um, so it looks like we move on next week to play Texas at Texas. Coach JCA at his, his new uh, school. So we'll see uh, what else we have, to, <clears throat> what else this new season has to offer us. And we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully we can uh, regroup, work on some mistakes, and, uh, you know, get this season <clears throat> rolling pretty good.